I want to start, Mr. Antoon. We heard devastating testimony on Monday from a young woman who was victimized on your platform. Is it fair to say that Pornhub and MindGeek failed to take all actions they could have taken a number of years ago to prevent that instance from happening? So maybe if I can step back and just explain. The first time ever we heard the name Mrs. Flytus was a couple of months before the New York Times article was released. The writer, Mr. Christoph Nicholas, reached out to our PR team around September. So three pa pa months pause, pause there, Mr. Antoon, because your company did hear from her when she asked for that content to be taken down. Is that so correct? Uh, no, for now, we only know her name and last name, and we started an investigation, and we do not have enough information to, 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 to see if she ever contacted us or not. I'm not saying she's not saying the truth, not at all. Please do not misunderstand me. I'm just saying with a first name and last name, it is impossible to know if she's contacted us. Don't you us. think that's worse, that you have no idea if she contacted you? She says she did, and you as a company that is making millions of dollars and here is a woman who's been victimized on your platform, and you don't even know, sitting here today, that she's contacted you many years ago when she was 13 to have content taken down. Don't uh, you Mr. think that's even worse? Mr. Smith, if I could jump in. I, I, no, no, I, 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 my question's for Mr. Antoon. Oh, no problem. I can answer that. Uh, with the information we have today, we cannot find anything from what Mrs. Flytus is saying. Anything. Fair, nothing. fair. fair. So, so, so I will say then, it is worse. What do you say to young women like Serena who have been victimized through your site. You have an opportunity today, public is watching. What do you say to these individuals who have been victimized on your site? So I'm a father, I have a daughter, I have a wife, I have a mother, I'm heartbroken. When I hear these uh, stories, it's inimaginable the pain that they have suffered. Uh, we, we are aligned with, with everyone who wants to come up with new regulations. Uh, this, this is a heartbroken story. Uh, of course, I feel sad. This Would you is say not we should company... have done more? Would you say we should have done more? We always can do more, and we are committed to always do more. You say one instance is too many. Correct. So let's talk about how many instances. How many times in 2020, let's just pick a year, how many times in 2020 did individuals reach out to MindGeek and say, I want content taken down because I did not consent to that content being put up? So we are uh, uh, preparing a transparency report that will be published very soon to close the 2020 year. Uh, which so let's pick 2019 then. How many in 2019? Uh, from the top of my head, David, I don't know if you know the number from the top of your head. No, at, at the top of my head, I don't have a number. And, um, and I so apologize So you've come here today. That. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a worthwhile apology, although I would expect when I asked you what you would say to victims, I, I would have expected an apology there too. But at a minimum, coming prepared today, you would have thought you would have received that question. So you, you don't know sitting here today how many in 2017, 2018, 2019, how many times people reached out to you you obviously don't have a record of Serena, so you maybe weren't keeping records five years ago. But but you don't you don't have any clue sitting here today how many times people reached out in 2018, 2019. No, I, 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 I I respectfully disagree. I actually think we do have all those facts. I just don't have all the facts uh, with me. At a public hearing with members of parliament. Okay, so do provide those facts to this committee at the earliest opportunity. I, I want to get to something, Mrs. Stubbs. We Stubbs. will actually be making them not only to you, we'll be making them public. As we stated, the 2020 transparency report will come out later this year. I'm not and just interested the, in 2020, though. I understand. And to go back to the other comments exactly. that you made, uh, the other comments that you made previously about us not knowing, it's not that we don't know who contacted us. From the limited information we were given, a first name and a last name is the only thing that was given to us. We reached out to the reporter. So on how many 13-year-olds reached out to you five, six years ago? Well, I'm trying to explain to you what actually happened. So I, I want to get. I want to get to. I, I want to get to the, actually, the question of December 2020 and the changes made in 2020. I actually have the information I've, that you're asking for, and if you just, I would like sure. to actually give that. To you. Thank you. Sure. Be so brief we, though, because I've only got a couple minutes. Well, they did try to. We did try to contact them multiple times, asking for additional information, pre and post the interview, and we didn't receive anything. With the limited information we did have, a first and a last name, we were unable to locate in any of our forms or any of our emails that we had received contact. Once again, we are not insinuating that. What they're saying is untrue. We are willing to look into it. And we've also reached out to a council now to, to get more information, what email was sent to. I, what, I, there I, was I a appreciate video. that. I do appreciate okay. that. Is it fair to say, though, that if the changes you made in December 2020 were put into place years ago, you've been part of the company since 2008. If these changes were put into place years ago, that this instance wouldn't have happened and 
girls do porn wouldn't have happened and women, young women principally, but women victimized on your site wouldn't have been victimized on your site. You made changes in December, 2020. I appreciate those changes, but had you put those changes in place earlier, we wouldn't have seen the victims that we see today. Do you think that's no, fair? Well, once again, I just, I respectfully disagree. The question's for Mr. Antoon. So I respectfully disagree with this uh, notion. We've always been improving our procedures. Yes, our system is not perfect like any other video sharing platform, adult or non-adult. Just recently, two weeks ago, a publicly traded video sharing platform got sued by somebody. That's, not, that's not an answer to my question, Mr. Antoon. I said, do you think these people would have been victimized if you'd had December 2020 changes in place earlier? We can always improve and we can always do better. I think that's a no. So, so my last question is, why the changes now, December 2020, instead of you say one instance is too many, you have many women reaching out. It can't just be Serena. You've got your 2020 transparency report coming. So why changes only when MasterCard and Visa say we're going to stop participating in, a, in a, an arrangement with you? It, so, it, seems, it, it seems to me, it seems to the public, I think, that you're only taking that action now to protect your bottom line and not to protect young women. So we started contacting a very reputable law firm in New York, uh, beginning of 2020. So a year ago, we signed a contract with them in April 2020, and they came up with the recommendations to improve our procedures. So this has been in the work since almost a year ago. Yes, it's been implemented in December, but it's been in the works way prior to these incidents. I, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm out of time. So just so I have the timeline right, that December 2020, you make changes, but they began in April 2020 when you retained the law firm but you started with this company in 2008. Thanks very much.